Yeah, I just, I, I really don't know. Um, just playing, just going out there, just playing, and um, kind of seeing how the defense is playing, um, being aggressive, trying to make the right play, and um, the right play was a shoot at some of the times. And, um, but uh, I just got to continue to have that mindset of just being in attack mode, whether it's you know, making plays for others or myself. So um, just another step in stone for me, and I, I can still be better. I can still be more efficient. Um, I can not turn the ball over so Julius doesn't have to exert enough energy to go chase down blocks. So um, I just have to be better in some aspects of the game. I know your hip is, is healing there, but you left the game and had to do an equipment adjustment, or was it something you had to do to get your hip protection back the way you needed it? Yeah. Jeff, how much do you think the three games you didn't play that helped you? Um, I think um, pros, there's pros and cons to it. Obviously, I would love to play. Um, and, um, I, I just don't like really sitting out. But uh, um, rest was good. I think coming back, trying to get my win, and that's the worst part about it. But uh, it's just you got to fight through it. It's a mentality thing. And um, there's pros and cons to it. But I, I would love to be out there to help my teammates. They needed pretty much all of your points tonight. You had career high. And you know, every basket that showed up was a big one, it felt like. That I guess sort of make it feel a little more meaningful when you have a game where you have a big scoring night and really you would have lost without it. Yeah, I mean, whatever it takes to win. Um, I could have 38 or I could have three points. If we win, that's all I really care about. And um, that's just been my, my goal, my mindset, and that's the mindset of this team. He's got to keep it going. But it does, it does feel good with a win, but uh, just whatever it takes. For honestly, the game, Pop was uh, <clears throat> complimentary of your game. And he said the message to his team was they got Jalen tonight when he didn't play the last game out there. And I saw after the game you and Pop, you know, hugged and laughed and everything. What's it like to go up against a Popovich team? Um, big time. Uh, he's a Hall of Famer. He's uh, one of the greatest coaches to be um, part of this game. Um, I have nothing, nothing but respect for Pop. And, um, he's just phenomenal, great guy to talk to, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, he's real special. We were joking about Coach Wright. You know, they were together for USA. Um, but uh, it's just, it's a pleasure to see Coach Pop, and um, I respect everything about him. Probably the second through most of the fours, you guys, they were they were kind of getting a lot of what they wanted, but those last four minutes was a little different. Yeah, we got we had to turn up a notch. Um, we had to you know grind it out and um, just find a way to win. Um, I think most importantly, we just we kind of just just talked to ourselves and kind of got ourselves in the mindset we need to finish this game no matter what and no matter how or whatever we just got to do it and. Um, we fought, and you know, obviously things weren't perfect. Um, the possession I had where I lost the ball and gave it to Julius, gave him a time bomb, is just you know, obviously wasn't the best possession, but um, we just got to find a way to win. You know, the NBA is a fraternity. Um, did you say something to Jeremy after his his five-second laps out there, just a veteran giving a young kid some advice in the, in the game? Um, I, I, all I said was I, I respect your game and I love the way you hoop and love the way you play. That's why I said to him, you know, nothing but respect for him and that team over there. And, um, they play the right way, and they, they're obviously well coached and all that stuff. So um, nothing, but, nothing but respect. You're, you're not going to um, pat yourself on the back. The last two shots that you made in the fourth, you sealed the game pretty much. I know mean, you guys made big shots, but you're coming there in a similar spot to where you're at now. Yeah. Was that a Um, not really. Uh, I think every possession is different and everything is different. Um, you got to read every situation whenever, when you're on the court. And um, I just knew where I could get to and I knew what I was comfortable with. And um, just trusted my mechanics and knocked, it, knocked those down. All right. Thanks, guys.